I um, uh, Will Gompertz, um, um, the arts editor of uh, the BBC, uh, which is mildly interesting. What's really interesting is, is Cornelia Parker. And the reason Connie is here in this specific space is because she's chosen this work by uh, Roy Lichtenstein. And both Cornelia and Lichtenstein are interested in the idea of taking the comic and making it into an artwork. And just very, very quickly, Lichtenstein, is, I think it was in 1965, cut out pieces of comics, of an item in a comic he thought was particularly powerful, and then using the techniques of mass production, as those comics were made in those days, using something called Bende dots, which were four colored dots Bende did to make comics um, affordable to print. And Lichtenstein copied that. It goes back to Sirat and Pointillism. And he came up with that idea in 61. He'd been a fail. He wasn't really working as an artist before that. He wasn't really doing very well. He came up with the idea in 61. He sold all the works immediately. And he never looked back. He was instantly successful. So successful that Warhol, at the same time, was, making, was thinking about making comic creations, looked at Lichtenstein's efforts and thought, I'll do soup cans. Um, <laughs> so uh, it's true. It's in there, entirely true. So Cornelia. Cornelia, yeah. <laughs> why have you chosen this work? I mean, I particularly like this Lichtenstein because his other works very often got words in it, mm. and, and this one hasn't. And this is not a painting, it's a sculpture, although it's a very low relief. You yeah. know, it's a, it's a kind of almost like a simulacra explosion. And I like it because it's, you know, the Bende dots you were talking about, you know, here are perforated metal, so they throw shadows. Um, so it's a kind of a, I don't know, it's, it's, it's playing around with all kinds of things. And also, I was, you know, drawn to the cartoon myself. Why? Um, well, I suppose when I was a child, you know, cartoons I obviously loved, and there's a lot of cartoon violence. And I suppose uh, I'm not saying I'm being influenced by Tom and Jerry, but, <laughs> um, but you know, but a steam lot of people steam to death is very Tom and Jerry. <laughs> yeah, or throwing things off cliffs or blowing things up. You know, in cartoons, these deaths are symbolic. You yeah. know, they're not real deaths. So uh, in my work, you know, I quite like using the real thing. So r rather than making an abstraction, which um, Lichtenstein has done, you know, which is a, a ricochet from yeah. another abstraction, I'm using the real process. And, and I suppose with, with, with Lichtenstein, what, I mean, all, all the pop artists, you've got Oldenburg's plug up there and um, Warhol over there. I think, I mean, all the, these pop artists, what they're quite clearly doing is they were, they were they're trying to m marry high and low culture and nothing could be more daft <laughs> and, you know, and people had it sort of considered demeaning than a, a, a cheap old comic that a child might have. Apparently, it all came about because his son said, Lichtenstein's son said to him, Dad, I bet you can't make an artwork as good as this, showing him his comic. That's how careers start. Um, <laughs> so so if, if that was all about marrying the, the low and high cultures and obviously making a comment on mass production and so on and so forth, What's yours about? Well, my shed had curlers in it. You know, it had you know comics in it. It had all kinds of stuff in it. So all these familiar objects that everybody knows about um, were there, but mangled by an explosion. So there's a tr it was tragic comic in a way. Um, and so um, for me, it was about trying to map something you can't map. Oh, that's you know. interesting. Capture um, a moment you can't yeah, capture. Yeah, it's called cold dot matter and exploded view. And cold dot matter, at the time I made the piece, was a term coined for the stuff out in the universe you couldn't quantify. You knew it was there, mm. but it, you couldn't measure it. You couldn't see it. It was dark. And then an exploded view is like a, a diagram you get in a car manual, you know, when you lay out all the bits of a wash machine or a car, and it's all labelled and formalised. And so I was trying to formalise an explosion.